Hi, guys. So I'm going to do a run through of my application that I created called Country CLI. And the first thing we want to do is run Ruby run dot RB. And then you'll be prompted to select a region of the world you would like to view more thoroughly. So let's say I were to type Europe. You would then see a list of all the European countries and you would be prompted with a prompt that, uh, that tells you Europe is a region with a population of approximately 747 million. And then it would give you a list of all the countries in Europe, as you can see. And let's say we wanted more in information on, oh, Russia's a good one. See what Putin's working with. 43. You'll see Russian Federation, capital, Moscow, I hope, region, Eastern Europe, population, then the language, which is Russian, and then currency, which is the Russian ruble. And then we could continue to select countries, 38, Norway, capital, Oslo. It will show you the region, population, language, currency, and it will do this for each country. And then maybe we forgot what we can continue to select. And let's say we wanted to view the list again, we could do that. And let's say we wanted to explore a new region. We would simply just type in region as told to you by the prompt and let's do Americas. And then you'll see a list of all the countries of the Americas. Let's see Guatemala capital Guatemala City. It will also show you the region which within the Americas that it's in, the population. It will do the same thing that it did for the European countries, just for countries located in the Americas. And like we did for the Americas, we can continue typing in. And let's say we typed in an invalid selection. We would be told that's not a valid selection. We typed in 66. There's only 57 countries in the Americas regions. And it will ask us to select a new option. We could either see a list of countries, pick a valid country, or exit to leave the application. But let's not leave quite yet. Let's select another one, Haiti. Um, then we could go back to region and select, let's say, let's do Oceania this time. Uh, better yet, Asia. And it will show us all the countries of Asia. 232, Pakistan. Islamabad, Southern Asia, language is English apparently, uh, and they use the Pakistani rupee. And now let's exit the application. And when we type exit, it says, thank you for using the application. Hope to see you again soon. And I guess a hypothetical user of this application, of somebody that would find this helpful, is somebody who's interested in learning uh, quick facts about a certain country because I do believe that this includes every country in the world, or at least close to it. Anyways, thank you for, view, uh, for listening to my recording, and I hope you found it felt helpful.